I just had a little break here. I went and got some Chick-fil-A and now I'm heading back to the campus for a 4.30 meeting that I have at the fishbowl, as they call it. The fishbowl is this room right here. Alright guys, and just like that, I finished day one of orientation. I didn't realize this week was going to be Monday through Friday. I didn't see anything about this anywhere at all. Just for future notice, if you're going to be a student here, one week before school starts, Monday through Friday, you will be coming here every day. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video just one video rather than five different videos and show you what my orientation week is like here at Full Sail. We ask that everybody abide by the speed limit. Education is going to be specifically your classroom etiquette every single month. How you're interacting specifically with your classmates, with your instructors each month. Favorite games in a laid-back, community-focused street. All community members are welcome to apply to the Full Sail Armada Street Team by heading over to the trials page. Hey buddies, how are you? And that was La Abundancia. It's a Colombian bakery and restaurant, and the food was pretty good. I got a pastel de arequipe and a pan de queso, um, which were really good. Additionally, as I was driving in that direction and back, I saw a Navy Federal, which is a bank very popular to service members in the Navy. If you are using your GI Bill or VA benefits to come to this school, do know that there is a bank pretty close to the college that you can use. Orientation day number two, I'm in the film program and all I had to do today was that orientation you guys just saw. They went over basic stuff like security and the student handbook, opportunities for students to get involved, organizations, groups, student associations, stuff like that. And now I have a little break until 12.30, which is when I get to pick up my lunch box. Some people have it on Tuesday, some people have it on Wednesday. Let's go see what it's all about. finished off there with culture shock assimilating to your new world it was mandatory for international students but it was open to all this event is part of the GPS program they have here which is a professionalism program that tracks your involvement with education career community involvement it's kind of an initiative for students to do more than what they're already doing at the school to do more with their education with their career one of my main things when coming to the school because it's so expensive and I hope you guys do the same thing as well is I want to get the most out of my education so if I'm already gonna be here I'm gonna go all the way and I'm gonna to try to be as involved as possible to learn as much as possible and to be part of this community 100% so then I can get the most takeaway and you have a question about campus resource uh, and above to keep that 2.0 GPA requirement but you won't have to retake any class completing maybe 26 to 28 in the same four months here so you get your bachelor's degree in 20 months there's nothing wrong with that right Okay. Cool. All okay. the books or videos that you might be assigned in class that are going to bring you in here. Um, there's a lot that you can explore and access content offline. Um, All my family was in like construction. <laughs> they knew to do something they can't do, or else if they could do it, they would. They would. And they're paying parts to it. A post required and a reply required. And it is Friday, last day of orientation week. And so far we did a student presentation where they showed three students work uh, that go to this school. And then we did a FSO workshop, which was the full sale online portion of it. There's also a test that you guys take together. I have a little break until my next thing, which is an optional thing on the schedule. I have about an hour. So I'm gonna go check out another little coffee shop. This one is called Snowbean. It looks like a fun place, so let's go check it out. Two local ones, we have our, our Baldwin and 
And we made it to Universal Studios Florida. We're gonna go have some fun. I'm about to go ride the Velocicoaster, one of the newest rides recently opened here. I hope this video was helpful in letting you guys know a quick insight as to what to expect. And maybe this even helped you decide if you wanna come to this school. The night comes to an end. I hope this video was really good for you guys to check out the campus, to check out the classes, to check out what type of things you're gonna be doing during orientation week. But Universal definitely was a successful day and very enjoyable. So now we're gonna go home and we'll talk about other aspects of the university in a further video.